let's say a friend of yours posts a story on Facebook about a dolphin being caught in the winds of the most recent hurricane. You immediately wonder, is this real news or is this a fake story? You don't want to be fooled. Well, you can do the research yourself. I would start with the website, which in this case is peopleoflancaster.com. I would go to that website and look and see if I thought it was legitimate. Who wrote the story? It's Area Man. How legitimate does that seem? Is it written in a way that seems legitimate? Who are the sources? In this case, there are none. I would also look at the site's About page. This About page will show us that much of the content on this website is satire and that peopleoflancaster.com admits that their page is a mix of news, opinion, and satire. So I think we're pretty sure that this story is likely fake news. But let's do our due diligence and take a deeper dive into this photo to see what it's about. If we right click, we can open the image in a new tab and save its URL, or we could save the image onto our desktop, and we can use various reverse image searches to find out more about the photo. In this case, I'm going to go to Google search because it's going to also show me visually similar photos and I'm going to go to Tinai because it's going to come close to telling me when the photo was first posted. So I could just let go here on Google search and it'll do the search but I want to show you how to upload a photo to Google Images. So go to images.google.com, click on the camera and then upload a file by navigating to wherever it is. It's going to navigate to my desktop and there is the photo Hurricane Dolphin 2. When I click open it's going to do the search and it's going to find that photo. And you can see right there, there it is. When I click on it, it will show me the photo from peopleoflancaster.com and also another version of that photo that's on a Blogspot blog. If I go back, I'll find various other information. Now, don't be confused by what you first see. It appears that this photo may be from a cyclone in Myanmar in 2008, but if you keep scrolling down, you will find a weather-related photo gallery from the archives of the Tampa Bay Times. And when you look at that archive, which has the photo right here, you will see that the Tampa Bay Times says the photo is a photo of a houseboat being swept into a seawall off its moorings on September 4, 2004 in Florida. So we can't be sure when the photo was taken, but it's looking likely that it's a 2004 storm. If we go back to our Google search, we can find visually similar images. And we can see that the first one is almost exactly the same as our image. It just doesn't have the dolphin in the circle. When we click on that, we'll get a sidebar that shows us all of the instances of that photo, whether it's the one with the dolphin or without. And if we click on some of these websites, we'll find one is a discussion of climate change in the 21st century, and one is a stock photo site where you can buy this photo. And after buying it, you could easily Photoshop in a dolphin and a red circle. So now I think we've come pretty close to proving that this is a fake retouched photo. But let's go a little further and look at TinEye. Now, when I do a URL search on TinEye, I get 176 results and it's searched more than 37 billion images to find those. And it sorts by default through best match. So TinEye says the best match is a photo first found on July 1, 2019, 
And it was found on centrallaleak.com, centralpaleak.com. If you click on this URL, you'll find the same headline, same photo, and same copy as People of Lancaster, but you will see that it was posted in 2016. And the second match here is found in 2018, and it has a similar photo and similar copy and similar headline to our People of Lancaster website. So those are definitely older, not new news if it is real, and we've pretty much proved it's fake. But let's look for when the photo was first posted. We can search by best match, most changed, biggest image, newest, or oldest. When we search for oldest, we find that Kinai first found this photo on February 5th, 2008. And if you click on the link, you'll see that this is a story about the intensity of hurricanes. And this is clearly a file photo from before 2005. So our 2004 hurricane is looking right. Now we can search the photo by most changed. And when we do that, we can see that this photo has been manipulated frequently, mostly by overlaying text, like here where it has become a cover of a book. But we find this photo from November 2017 that has the dolphin, the red circle, and some yellow type. The only difference between this and the people of Lancaster photo is the yellow type. I think now we've proven that not only is this a fake news story, it's an old fake news story. So the lesson here is tell your friends not to post fake news on Facebook and be vigilant and do your own research when you see something on the internet.